morning and welcome to my Friendsgiving week vlog. I'm not having the strongest start to the day. <laughs> I went on a walk earlier today. I was just like on a leisurely walk, like thinking I'm getting so ahead on the day, you know, like getting active, moving a little bit. And then I look at my email upon coming back into the house. <laughs> As it turns out, I had a call I completely forgot about with the brand at 8.30. Um, they had like sent an email through a few minutes after being like, Hi, we're in, the, we're in the room, blah, 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 whatever. I didn't see it, which I didn't see it until like a couple minutes ago and replied and we we're like rescheduling for in an hour, but not a strong start to the morning. I've never forgot about it. I don't know what happened. I even had it on my calendar, I think because today's Monday. Like, well, I don't know. I don't, I guess I don't always get notifications either for things because I'm normally just on it and on my laptop. But I guess since it's so early on a Monday, I haven't been on my laptop yet. And like, I wasn't on it on the weekend. So anyways, not a strong start. Honestly, I'm super embarrassed because <laughs> I've never done that. But I'm um, gonna do that here in a little bit. This is Friendsgiving week, which I'm so, so excited about. I have so many big ideas. Um, if you haven't seen my last main channel video, I decorated for Christmas. Um, however, those decorations have been, except for the tree, have been like taken down in preparation for turning this into like more of a Thanksgiving vibe. So I'll be going back up very soon, but there's a lot to do this week. And it is also the like busiest work week. <laughs> Last weekend this week, I've had like multiple deadlines every single day. So it's been like a nonstop morning till night thing, but I'm super excited. Friendsgiving is gonna be just the best time. Hope you guys enjoy following along. As usual, I'm gonna try to make some TikToks out of it as well, so we'll see. It's now a little bit later, and before we get too into this vlog, I wanted to thank Anna Luisa for partnering with me on this. I've worked with them a few times in the past, but if you guys are unfamiliar with Anna Luisa, they're a really amazing jewelry company. Day to day, I think all of the rings you see me wearing, as well as these earrings are like my ongoing earrings that I wear every single day with like these rings. All that's from Ana Luisa and basically they just make really exceptional quality pieces at an affordable price. So everything starts at $39, which I really don't think is bad, especially for pieces that aren't gonna like change, that aren't gonna turn green with time because they're made using only noble metals. And another great thing about Ana Luisa is actually that they are a carbon neutral sustainable company. So they offset 100% of their carbon emissions. They source all of their own raw materials and then all the way through the disposal of their products and even like, even like their shipping, I have this box is made from recycled paper. So all around sustainability is at the forefront of their company's mission. They just make really cute pieces that would even make awesome gift ideas. So everything comes in the cutest little pouch. So first up, I got this ring that has just like the cutest rhinestone-y details on the side. I like just like a simple ring. I got it in a size six. Similarly, but like a little bit more glammed up. I got this one that you can see is like the same kind of rhinestone pattern, but it's like a double layer of that. It's like a simple little dressy ring for any kind of like holiday party. And then lastly, again, with like that same design. They have plenty of options on the website, not just like this exact pattern, but I was just a fan of this. These small little earrings, this is the shape. And from the front, if you can see, they have those little stones again. So I love all these pieces. I will have them all linked below. Um, I'll probably even link some of my own favorites, like my staples that I show that I wear day to day. I don't know why my voice is so <laughs> raspy at the moment. Again, I feel like these are a really great gift idea and it's also the perfect time to buy because they are running their Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales. They've been getting started already. I'm not sure if they change every day. I know the day I'm filming this, Things are buy one, get one 60% off. So that's a lot of saving. I don't know if that's changing day to day. I'll try to have that information in the description box as well. But best bet is just clicking over to the website and you'll be able to save even more money than usual at Anna Luisa. So thank you so much to them for partnering with me on this vlog. Again, this is the jewelry I wear literally every single day. So highly, highly recommend them. Hope all of you guys enjoy as well. So now it is going to be a really busy work day and I'm hoping to get to some friends giving prep tomorrow, but realistically, I feel like it might be Wednesday when we get that started. So we'll move on to the fun part of this vlog. Also, if you haven't seen my last vlog, there's another like party video that was just very delayed all about my like Harry Potter Halloween party. If you want to see the behind the scenes of that, I will have that link. As I said in that video, there's just like a complicated scenario where I like, could get into my account and had to do with like networks changing and this and that, whatever. My YouTube network closing. Anyways, all is resolved. Apologies for that going up so far after the event. <laughs> Since then, I've actually been up to not much, literally just working. I'll insert, I guess, some clips if I even have them. I think the only notable thing I've done since then <laughs> was like go to a Rams game, which is super exciting. They had me go. Literally the most unreal experience, like getting to hang out in like the Founders Club and like watch from like behind the sidelines and like have seats on the front row and go out onto the field after. It was just like the most amazing, like we'll never have again football experience. I really think that's the only thing that's even happened since. Halloween between then and now.
All right, so the first and biggest DIY, really I guess the only DIY um, that's actually crafting. Um, I got all these florals <laughs> the other day uh, to make these really pretty pumpkin flower arrangements out of these like foam pumpkins where you cut it out and all the flowers like poke out of it. It was gonna be really cute. Finding a foam pumpkin on Amazon was next to impossible the, unless it was like tiny. So this is the biggest one I could find that from photos I definitely did not think was this short because um, this is like supposed to act as a vase. These are very small so we're gonna see how this goes. Alright, update. I've cut some chicken wire, really made a huge mess. <laughs> trying to cut out the foam and then folded up some of this chicken wire and like kind of tried to fold it into a little ball. That way we have a lot of different openings and whatnot for flowers to tuck into this. I mean, I guess in theory you could maybe put water in this. I feel like that'd be disgusting, but um, I am just kind of building these right now and then the day of I'm going to cut the flowers and arrange those. So I'm gonna have to wait for the fun part, but this was necessary and hopefully they won't look too stupid being this small. Giselle has convinced me to make one right now, <laughs> which sounds fun, but it's gonna require like cutting up all or open all of these. Okay, obsessed. This side does look better than this side. Hold on. Yeah, that one's a little bare. We need to get more hydrangeas because we need like two per pumpkin. This is also just a rough mock up, but thought like florals on top, greenery at the bottom. The night before, vacuum cleaner's going. I'm gonna do thorough updates in the morning. I have set the table, we made the seating chart, place cards, about to do the final thing tonight, which is make the schedule for tomorrow um, for cooking and stuff. We're at like a lamp for my bedroom down here. Um, we're gonna have wine and beer out here. This little bar area is not done. All right, it is Friendsgiving day. I have a lot to do, a lot on the schedule. <laughs> First up, highest priority item is this turkey, which I've never made, I'm still not even making it, Giselle's making it. What do we have going on right now? We're putting butter under the skin. Mm. And she made it like a herb butter. Turned out so pretty.
wrap on my Friendsgiving vlog. <laughs> Wearing sweats down low and a blazer up top. I need to quickly go get ready <laughs> to go to dinner. Just edited this video. It is now Monday of the next week. So if you guys liked following along, or if you want to see even more behind the scenes of Friendsgiving, head over to TikTok because I've been posting a lot there. I did one of those like TikToks of um, like the arrival times, like seeing how late people are compared to a when he told them to get there, which was fun. But when you see this, I hope all of you guys have or had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Again, don't forget to shop Anna Luisa and take advantage of their Black Friday deals at the link below. Thanks so much for watching. Gonna go get ready for my dinner.